My name's Lucy and I own Café Fleur. To own a café was a dream since I was really little. When I was at six, I <laughs> built a hotel in the laurel bush and charged my parents to come and visit me in the hotel and stole food from the kitchen and charged them to eat it in the hotel. Um, and I feel like that was probably the start when they were like, yep, she's gonna wanna own something of her own one day. <laughs> I was working in the finance job and sort of realised that this wasn't really what I wanted to do. I was really unhappy and realised that something really needed to shift in my life and it was the job. And I came back to the idea of owning a, my own business. So I quit the job in the office and then I started looking for empty shops and businesses that were for sale and came across Café Flow online. I sat outside the café in my car for a whole day <laughs> I just watched people walking past to see who was here, who would go into the cafe. Um, I must have been like such a creep. <laughs> but I really wanted to make sure that it was a good area and that what I wanted to do here was going to work. It's a really lovely village feel in Wandsworth. And I have some customers that are still coming from the beginning and I know them really well and I've seen their kids grow up. And I feel like it's a bit of a safe haven maybe in the cafe. People do say that it's, it's like the little centre of the Wandsworth community, which is really nice. I don't know if it's this area or the people that we attract, but they're so friendly and so lovely and so appreciate what we're doing. Because I think what we're doing is a lot more than what we need to do. In terms of like everything is homemade, like all the sauces, all the bread and the cakes and like we hardly buy anything in and I put a lot of thought and effort into everything that we buy and Simon my husband before he worked in the cafe with me he was a sustainability consultant so he's come in and there's no plastic there is all eco product like you know there we really go beyond and I feel like people really appreciate it and that is just makes it so worthwhile Buying food that is in season and produced uh, as close to home as possible uh, reduces the amount of transport. When I first came into the business I really looked at the suppliers quite a lot and tried to work out um, which ones we could swap for sort of people that were much, much closer to home and which products we used at different times throughout the year. So, you know, we sort of change our menu now about sort of four times a year to suit the season. Oscar is number one. He has been with me since day one. You know, he's like such a wonderful man and such a talented chef. He is the heart of the cafe with me because we've been here every day and we, and he, you know, when you first open a business and it is hard, really, really hard and you work ridiculous hours and he did that with me and it's not his business so we've been through a lot. <laughs> Café Fleur for me is like uh, it's it's so special to be honest with you it's very very special because Lucy she's like my family as well so come with Café Fleur for me is my second house you know every day so I don't I don't see Café Fleur like I'm walking it's like uh, uh, I'm having fun fun but I'm enjoying what I'm doing and I really love it. So every day is for me a special day. And then I've got Helen, who is my friend from home, and she works here with us. And all of the girls that work front of house are just wonderful. You're not doing a cafe to be a millionaire. You're kind of doing it because you love it. This is more than just a business, I think this is really part of me, <laughs> definitely. <laughs>